Hi guys, Stephen here from littlerobot.ai. I wanted to make a very quick video showing you how you connect your Twitter API that we spoke about in our last video to a social media scheduling tool. In my case, I use Feedhive. They have allowed access for, to continue using Twitter on their platform via connecting your Twitter API to their platform, which is kind of exactly what I said I thought schedulers would do. And actually it, it makes total sense. And I um, feel like a lot of people will do it because then each customer can get the $100 Twitter API uh, package if they want, or they can just have the free package. I'm using the free package for now to make sure it all goes smoothly. I may upgrade in the future, but for now the free package works for me. So what you first need to do is go onto the developer.twitter.com website as we spoke about before. On the left, you will see projects and apps. You click here and then you will see default project. And then in my case, I see my username, but in other people's cases, I think it still says default project again. So don't know why it's different. It just is. And then at the bottom, you will see user author, author, oh, I can't say that word today, user settings. And then it won't say edit because I've already set this up, but you will see set up or I can't quite remember what the word is. Either way, here, be very obvious, click that. And then for Feedhive, I had to set read and write. For other services that maybe have direct messaging options, you can then obviously select and direct message. Uh, web app, because it's a web app, give the redirect of the tool that you're using. Feedhive gave this one. Also, it makes you do website URL. I'm not sure why. It doesn't really need any of this information, but I put in um, my agency one because you could. So I don't have, need to save that. You will then go on to feed. Oh, sorry. Once you save that, it will give you your um, keys and tokens. So your client ID and your secret ID. It only shows it once. So make sure you copy and paste that somewhere else. So you don't lose it. If you're familiar with APIs, you'll understand. You then go on to Feedhive. If you've already got your Twitter profile in your social accounts here, you will have to delete it. At least I did. And I think that's what they recommend and then re-add your Twitter. So re-add it, go on Twitter, add in your client ID and secret code. I will do that now. Once you've added that, you will be taken to Twitter to authorize it. You click authorize. It then takes you back to Feedhive, as always, as, as I said, if you've done any API linkage before, it will exactly how it does. And then it is back in Feedhive, lovely jubbly. You can then use Feedhive or you can use schedule your tweets exactly as you were before. The one thing that you can't do on the free plan is look at any analytics. So Feedhive offer a best time to post and some other tools. You won't be able to see that with the Twitter API free. You would be able to see that if you were doing Twitter API paid. Um, I think if you upgrade your Twitter API link, I'm not sure if, you would have to redo the API. I suspect you would, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm sticking with the free plan for now. And then if I need more tokens or need more usage, I will upgrade because $100 a month, I think is pretty good, especially if you can manage multiple things. But for now, just want to do a very quick video for you to show you exactly what to do. Hope that helps and hope you link into Feedhive or link into whatever social tool you're using and more and more people will probably be offering this in the next week or so that you'll see. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, I'm trying to grow this channel, uh, very early days I know, but thank you for watching so far and seeing what I'm getting up to. If you want specific videos, let me know, happy to make them. Cheers.